Hello there beautiful beings, welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven and thank you so much for being here. Tonight I am going to do another one of my dashboard readings. What are dashboard readings? Well, I call them dashboard readings because it's basically like a snapshot of the energy surrounding you right now in terms of life, love, and career or finances. So. As always, please be reminded these are general readings, so not everything will resonate with you. Please only select or use your discernment to identify which one is or which guidance is for you. Also, these are timeless, so whenever you find this video, that is when you're meant to receive this guidance. As a form of an energy exchange between you and I, kindly focus your gaze on the crystals that we have in front of us right now. And whichever one kind of like calls out to you the most, select that one that way your intuition will be working with mine and we can get a more accurate reading so group number one we have this um angel aura quartz um crystal aura quartz um, group number two we have this carnelian for group number three we have garnierite or green moonstone once you have selected your crystal we are going to proceed with the readings Hello there beautiful beings from group number one. If your intuition guided you to select this angel or a quartz crystal, this is going to be your reading. Kindly be reminded my readings are all timeless. So whenever you find this video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit. Also, these are general, so please only take what resonates with you and kindly leave the rest behind. If it doesn't fit, you know, you don't have to force it to your situation. Tonight we're asking spirit for guidance. Um, as regards to the current energies surrounding you right now. Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides, calling on your presence, your guidance, and protection. Please help me read for group number one, please. What do they need to know most right now for their highest good? Thank you so much. I'm truly, truly grateful. Number one, we have Queen of Pentacles. The King of, wow, King of Pentacles. And we have the page of fonts. Hmm. Well, the energy that's coming through right now is, huh? I feel like you have your eyes set on a new project or a goal right now, which could be with someone, could be partnered with someone who is very stable. Okay, I feel like. This is a partnership that is fated to succeed. I feel like this could either be a work partnership. Perhaps you're trying to um, do something uh, like a side project or maybe a passion project of yours. But definitely you are partnering with someone who is very good with money i see okay regardless if you're the, the queen or the king of pentacles you know it's not gender specific but really what it's telling me is there is some sort of partnership right now and the both of you are awaiting good news what's coming spirit what's coming death okay so the good news that you're waiting for is coming you know it's just undergoing some sort of transformation right now perhaps it's not going to be the exact um outcome that you have expected however i see good in this card okay death card you know for anyone out there who's who's new to tarot death card doesn't necessarily mean like it's a bad card no it's not okay it just means that it's some sort of transition it's some sort of like um, a transformation that is occurring so perhaps this project that you have started off with with like i said this stable partner who's very good with money someone who's very good with their finances and all of that you know perhaps it's not um it has changed okay perhaps you know you started off doing something right now and then eventually whatever this project is it is shifting it has shifted rather because we see death here but what comes next after death spirit the four of cups the four of cups basically you know the energy that's coming through with this four of cups card is that i see you accepting this gift from the universe okay most often than not the four of cups card you know shows this person kind of like focusing elsewhere sometimes focusing on the three cups sometimes focusing on um elsewhere except for the cups but i see you know this zombie over here is um 
focusing on this and what this is is a gift from the universe the universe is giving you this opportunity to flourish whatever it is that you are expecting just allow things to kind of like if you see if you send some sort of like a change and you're not really that sure whether it is a good change or you know i see that the universe is guiding you or guiding you and your partner guiding you and you know whatever this um venture is it's being guided and the universe is gifting you with success okay so take it you know allow things to transform and eventually it'll become what you have been hoping for okay it's going to succeed it's gonna take a while though but it will i'm si I'm, si I'm what six weeks six months you know um We have, ooh, the tower. Eight of cups and the nine of wands. Okay. The tower card doesn't necessarily be like a, uh, like a bad card, you know, again, with the death card. But I'm sensing there's some sort of like a shakeup here, okay? Perhaps you are with someone romantic, involved with someone romantically and you have kind of like shifted your your um i don't know if i'm sensing some sort of like a love lost from you okay not from the other person i feel like you have okay because this card represents the wounded warrior this is someone who has been completely resilient someone who keeps fighting for for the person that they love look let's you know let's put it in the perspective of like a love reading so i feel like this person has been completely you know this person has been you know battle born trying to fight for this person trying to do what is right for this person trying to fight this person for this person do you know what i mean so i feel like this is you and i feel like you have really exhausted all of the patience and resilience that you have within you but you're still standing however you know a shake-up is going to happen soon there's going to be some sort of like a surprise from the universe and this is happening because i feel like you have been ignoring whatever nudges the universe has for you in the past okay i feel like this is not the first time that you're you're kind of like sensing something in your gut okay because i'm feeling that right now in my gut and i feel like you know this is not my energy so i feel like you have have been constantly bombard been bombarded with like little nudges little niggle from the universe and you kind of like ignored all of that so whatever it is i see that there is it's going to be fast okay whatever this is that you're going to find out or this um this this thing that's going to happen you know with your person this is going to shock you and surprise you okay uh, please don't um <laughs> please don't um be afraid or whatever you know um but what I'm sensing is that this is going to propel you to walk away, okay? You're going to walk away from the situation. And the reason for that is because the universe has something else or something better lined up for you. This person kind of like kept you in the dark for the longest time. You have a lot of um, kind of like a lot of things that you aren't um, sure of with this person. I feel like whenever you try to get to the bottom of something with this person, they would just, you know, they would be evasive completely with, with complete with all of the deflecting tactics or whatever. And I feel like, you know, you have just, you know, you've just exhausted all of your efforts and th that yes, the surprise is coming in from the universe, which will allow you to kind of like uproot yourself from the situation because that is what you are, uh, what is you, because that is what you need right now. Okay. Outcome hermit yes definitely you know i'm sensing that you know when it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when and when you eventually decide to walk away from this person there's going to be um a period wherein you will need to kind of like gather your senses you know gather yourself i feel like this being with this person somehow left you kind of like scattered i feel like your energy has been all over the place because you have been trying your best to fight for this person like with like what the nine of um wands show here i feel like you have really done your best to kind of like accommodate this person to be with this person to be this to be the person that this person needs you know but that is not needed when you are with the person who is right for you is perfect for you you won't have to change anything about yourself this person will accept you so i'm sensing a lot of incompatibility with this person and a little bit of deceit or a little bit of like you know untruthfulness from their part okay perhaps they're just very private perhaps you know they're unable to allow you in um their heart or you know take it how it resonates but yes you're going through a period of um trying to find some clarity on your own okay hermit energy and that's right that's that's good you know i feel like you're going to do a lot of introspection a lot of meditation and that will do and will bring you good okay for your finances we have ooh, ten of cups 
Knight of Wands, and Ace of Swords. Cool. So for your finances, what I'm hearing is you're going to get a pretty um, substantial amount of money, okay? I see this money is going to come into you, okay? Could be a promotion. Anything that brings you joy, okay? I feel like, yes, this is something that's going to definitely um, elevate your financial standing in a way, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you'll go ahead and win, I don't know, like um, at the slot machine or, you know, like millions and millions of um, dineros. But I feel like, you know, this is going to elevate you. A little bit okay this is something that you have been hoping for for a while and you are going to experience it you are going to receive it and you know just now i just noticed this this person is um sorry this skeleton is holding money i just noticed it um so yes i feel like you are going to get that you're going to get that and you will be celebrating soon this is coming this is going to come in swift okay that is what i'm getting from the knight of wands it's going to come it's already on its way to you i feel like you have been manifesting this for a long time okay ace of swords you know i feel like this is something that you know you have this is success on your part in terms of like you you have been using your your mental wit mental wit you have been using your mental agility for this so perhaps you know you could be working on some sort of like um a side project or perhaps you know um this is some sort of like a promotion at work but definitely um yes you have been you have been working really hard for this and i feel like yes it's coming your way very very fast okay another message just one card please we have oh the hierophant okay so yeah this is going to bring you some sort of like structure in your life okay perhaps um perhaps there have been some sort of like um I don't know, like maybe you have been all over the place a little bit, you know, maybe a lot of people lost their jobs. So, you know, or maybe you could be, um, you could be hired. Okay. If you're, if you're, okay, this is coming through, not going to be for everyone. Of course, if you already have a job, if you already have a business and this is not for you, but for people like I, cause I'm sensing suddenly this energy of someone who's trying to apply for a job and you know, this person has been doing it for quite a while and now it's here. So I feel like, um, you're, you have aced your last interview and you know, an offer is coming in for you. Okay. That is the energy that's coming through. Okay. Let me just pull additional cards of advice. Are we okay? Not yet. 11 minutes in okay an additional advice for each please angels and spirit guides okay practice patience okay like what i said earlier you know this thing that's going to happen towards you uh you know towards this project is it shifted okay so yes you have to use a lot of patience okay um, like I said earlier, it's going to come in slow. So yes, you're going to need your patience. Go with the flow. Again, you know, go, go. First thing that you need to do is go. Okay. Universe is giving you the flow and all you need to do is go. <laughs> I'm rhyming. But yeah, Aquamarine just, you know, tells you to, the universe is kind of like shifting you. Okay. The universe is switching your gears for you because the universe knows best okay your spirit guides your angels and all of them can see clearer than you okay and where they're leading you right now may seem i don't know, like strange or you know odd or foreign to you but trust okay and just go with the flow now for the last part we have find a way to forgive okay hmm let's see why is this card here rhodonite find a way to forgive I'm sensing there could have been some sort of like um, struggles for just for the person or the people specifically who are trying to look for jobs. I feel like, you know, there have been some struggles in the past with your past workplace. Okay, this energy that's coming through, perhaps some sort of like a disagreement with a former boss or um, maybe, you know, a former co-worker has made it hard for you and difficult for you. Spirit is saying to forgive that person and to forgive yourself. Okay, it may have caused you to resign or this person may have caused you to lose your job or whatever. You know, you do not have to dwell and that you know success is coming your way so whatever it is you know if it's i feel like it, this is holding you back because when we harbor energies like that energies of kind of like um hate or you know um resentments you know these are not high vibrational energies these are bad so this go it, this is going to basically pull down our energies so if you have any of that you know release it okay release it and you will get the success the <laughs> the success that you deserve okay 
That is what I have for you, group number one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like or maybe check my other videos. And subscribe if you would like. I do my pick a card readings on this channel every now and then. So thank you and I hope I see you again soon. Bye! Hello there beautiful beings from group number two. If your intuition guided you to select this carnelian stone, this is going to be your reading. Allow me to remind you that my readings are timeless. So whenever you find these videos, that is when you were meant to receive the guidance from spirit. Also, these are general. So of course, not everything will resonate with you. These readings are for the collective. So please use your discernment to find out which guidance is indeed for you and for your current situation. Okay, tonight we're asking spirit for guidance to know um, the current energy surrounding you right now and to give an advice on how to proceed. Okay. Thank you so much, angels and spirit guys. Truly grateful. Again, thank you so much, angels and spirit guys. Truly grateful for your presence, protection, and guidance. Can you please help me read for group number two, please? Group number two, group number two. Okay, that one wants to come out. We have the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Six of Swords. Huh. What is going on here? You're moving away from something. You're moving away from something based on a news that you're going to receive. I see some sort of like clarity that's coming in here. Perhaps, I feel like you have been trying to assert yourself over something or over someone, okay? There is a situation in your life right now wherein you feel like you need to defend yourself. You feel like you need to assert yourself. You, need to, you, feel, you feel the need to kind of like show that you are a cut above the rest. That is what's coming here. And I feel like you're already tired. You know, I feel like you're you have been protecting yourself, protecting your position, protecting your heart, protect basically you're just protecting yourself, okay? You're defending yourself, I feel. And you have this there's this news that's coming in for you strongly. And this news is going to give you some sort of clarity, okay? This is going to give you some clarity which will allow you to kind of like release whatever it is that's holding you or keeping you tied to this keeping you tied to this energy of needing to protect yourself needing to kind of like defend yourself needing to be above everyone i feel like you're so determined to do that that you kind of like lost the purpose why you're doing it in the first place but it, but this news this news that's coming in is going to kind of like release you or and release all of the bind or, or um the bind the bondage <laughs> whatever it is that's binding you to this situation you're going to be released from it and you're going to swim no not swim but you're going to sail to calmer waters okay that is what i'm getting from the six of swords here huh i feel like you have been confused for a long time i'm seeing a lot of black clouds here i know that's prevalent in this deck but somehow they're highlight they, they're highlighting it for me and be, it's being drawn um a lot of i'm sensing a lot of um insecurities okay with the situation and you don't you don't want to be you don't want to feel that anymore and this this sword this truth right here it's going it's going to cut through all of your ties to this and it will allow you to kind of like move forward to a happier um, a brighter future ahead of you okay so when that happens just allow it okay allow it actually you know what you know yourself you have your own saturation point you have your own boiling point and i feel like whatever this thing that you're learning is you know it's come it's going to come in swiftly and it's going to help you you know at first you're going to be shocked but it will help you because you will no longer have to be on edge on your tippity toes trying to defend yourself trying to protect yourself you're no longer going to be in that energy you're going to sail away to calmer waters okay how about love spirit do you have anything for group number two in terms of love we have the emperor of death okay and the four of swords hmm. okay could be dealing with i don't know what is this spirit the Emperor speaks of strategy for me. 
I feel like this is this has something to do with some sort of like an issue in the past that involved you and someone okay you don't have to be with this person anymore the, the energy that's coming through I feel like this is a past energy that has stayed on with you kind of like a baggage you know take it take it like um like you like a baggage from a past relationship that has stuck with you for a while what i'm sensing is that you know death is here for that you know death again is not a bad card okay this is a card that means you know endings bring new beginnings okay this is a transformation card and i feel like that whatever baggage that is that was um given from this past relationship or this baggage that you're carrying from a past relationship it's going to be shedded you're going to shed it okay is going to be shed. <laughs> um, this is going to bring some stability in your life. Not some, quite a lot. I feel like this some um, this thing right here could be tied into this, you know, so take it how it resonates. If you can tie it to the situation, then yes, well and good. But I'm sensing that, you know, this baggage has left you quite dis in disarray, okay? I feel, I feel like um, the emperor here is symbolizing uh, like I mentioned earlier, stability. Okay, this emperor is also here to kind of like bring structure into into the, your life, okay? Through the death of this, releasing this baggage, whatever it is. The Four of Swords is here to just really signify that this is what you need to do right now. You need to rest, okay? That's why I'm feeling that this is connected to this because I feel like you haven't really, really exhausted. It seems like it is connected though. So, you know, not gonna be for everyone to so take it how it resonates because we don't know what the situation is, if it's love related, okay? But yeah, you can connect it if you know your situation, you know your scenarios. But I feel like, you know, um, this thing is going to change. It is going to transform. Okay, you're going to release it. I feel like that is kind of like common energy right now. Even with the readings that are not for the collective that I'm doing right now, um, I'm getting the same thing. Releasing old um, connections, releasing stagnant connections, releasing things that does not serve our highest good. I feel like that is kind of like a common theme. So I'm going to tie it, tie this energy in with that. Okay. You need to rest, okay? I feel like you have been exhausted for a long time trying to carry this. You know, whenever we carry, like, big issues from the past relationship, you know, it kind of, like, ruins the next one. So, Spirit is saying it's time for you to release that, okay? Transform your energy. Whatever it is that's making you feel like it's difficult to move forward, it's going to end soon, okay? Structure is going to come back to your life and it's going to be easy for you. But at the moment, what you need to do most right now is to rest, okay right moving forward group okay Ooh, we have king of cups we have the page of cups and we have the star okay i feel like you're very hopeful right now i'm sensing a lot of hope with you in terms of your finances huh You're going to receive some happy news. That is the energy, you know, because pages bring news, right? They're the messengers. I feel like you're going to receive some happy news right here. Coming from, could be a mentor of yours. Someone who is loyal, someone who is dependable, someone who is... I f the energy, okay, the King of Cups, yes, correlates to love and all of that. But the energy that's coming through here, I feel like you're going to find some sort of like a mentor, okay? A mentor that's going to help you achieve your dreams, okay? I feel like this is someone who's could be... Um, gosh or it could also mean that you're kind of like learning and listening to a lot of master classes or attending a lot of classes you know these are going to help you in your career moving forward i feel like because mentorship that is what i'm getting from this king of cups card here over here you know i feel like this is someone who's going to be able to share with you the knowledge that they know and you know the knowledge that they possess to help you further yourself in your career or your project or what school you know whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish could be a professor who's going to kind of like you know take you in and kind of like help you with your thesis or whatever i feel like yes you're getting some sort of like guidance okay from someone who's who has a lot of wisdom someone who is who's generally a good person and someone who's very um established okay that's the energy that I'm getting with the star card here. Definitely, I see you kind of like, yes, being guided, okay? You know, how, because the star here, they're highlighting me, the star, like the, what's the North Star? And that's the reason why I kind of like tied it in with guidance, I feel. So you're definitely going to get the guidance that you need and you deserve to further you or to kind of like further you in terms of your career or studies, okay? Oh, my 
light is dying. What is up? Hang on. There. To add more um, guidance. Oops. More guidance, please, for group number two to end the readings. Spirit. Okay. Start fresh. Oh my god, isn't that good? Synchronicity. I love it when there are synchronicities in my reading. Start fresh. We got the Chrysocola. So, you're right. Very, very apt for the reading of your life. You know, it's always, you know, start with the beginner's mind, okay? Start fresh. Start fresh. You need to, you need to recuperate. You need to heal. You need to relax. You know, whatever it is, you know, drop that wand. Drop that wand. You need, you don't need to wield that or you know carry it anymore start fresh <laughs> oh my god what was i saying release your emotional baggage see i'm not making this up you saw me shuffle the cards yes <laughs> i don't need to <laughs> expound on that anymore and for group number three oops okay sorry uh group number three i said group number three um third pile of cards here we have live your purpose again tying it in with the wisdom okay i feel like this person is going to help you identify your purpose and it's going to you know allow you to achieve you know you're deeply guided by the universe you're divinely guided and this person is coming in to help you achieve your purpose okay that is what i have for you group number two if this reading resonated with you, please let me know in the comment section below. Consider giving this video a like, consider sharing it to a friend, or consider subscribing to my channel because this is what I do on my channel. I do f free pick a card readings. Um, every week I upload one, at least one or two maybe. Um, I've taken quite a break this October, but yes, I will be... Um, continuing with my pick a card readings i'm starting off with the dashboard reading so yeah like i said if you enjoyed this reading let me know um would appreciate if you can like and i hope i see you again soon in one of my future videos take care bye hello there beautiful beings from group number three if your intuition guided you to select this garnierite also known as green moonstone this is going to be your reading allow me to repeat myself <laughs> from the introduction my readings are timeless so whenever you find this video that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit also these are general so please only take what resonates with you oops and kindly leave the rest behind use your discernment to find out which advice is fitting for your situation if it doesn't fit okay try not try not to force it perhaps select another file or check my other pick a card videos Tonight we're asking Spirit for guidance to find out the energies surrounding you right now to give you the advice that you need on how to proceed in terms of life, love, and career or finances. Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides. Angel Metatron, asking for your guidance, presence, and protection. Can you please help me read for group number three, please? Group number three. What do they need to know most right now, please? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. We have Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, mm -hmm. Oops. and we have the Ace of Wands. Hmm. What are you confused about, my dear friend? I see you confused about something right now. Hmm. What is it? What could you be... I feel like you are kind of like overwhelmed right now with a decision that you need to make. I feel like there is some sort of like... There are a lot of a lot of opportunities right now presenting itself to you okay i'm i can see you kind of like clearly um confused clearly um finding a hard time deciding on what you need to do spirit is saying to just really focus deep within you have some sort of like introspection and find what brings you you know passion go back to your roots go back to what brings you joy and i'm sorry <laughs> my my candle just died um let me just light this one second i can't continue without it i need it for okay 
all right going back i feel like you know you're really um confused okay even i myself am feeling a little bit confused some people could be showing themselves differently to you and that is the reason why you're kind of like feeling a little bit um disjointed you know because you can't seem to quite your quite put your you can't seem to quite put your finger on it um but there's something wrong okay there's something off about either a person or a choice okay it's very interesting to trust your gut okay trust your gut like i said earlier before the fire went out you know use your introspection or go use your <laughs> intuition and go deep within yourself okay you need to kind of like really meditate on this consider all the options okay write down the pros and cons and make sure to kind of like also take into account what your gut is saying what your gut is telling you and at the same time something that's very very um highlighted to me right now is this ace of wands i feel like what spirit wants you to do right now is to just go back to your passion whatever brings you joy remember that take that into consideration okay sometimes maybe it could be a love could be um a work situation or whatever it is could be family you know always seek the um always seek the answer the situation or um the circumstance that will bring you joy okay because if you do that you will you know you will not make any re you will not have any regrets in doing that decision so whatever it is it's you know allowing you to be in this confused state you know you have control over it you just need to kind of like really focus okay focus spirit wants you to focus on one thing okay we just what else for group number one love high priestess banged man strength Ooh, oh my gosh you got major arcana cards your love life is divinely guided i that i would have to say when you get major arcana cards in your reading this means that these are significant life changes and you do not have much control over it because the universe is guiding you the universe now has the hand okay they're they're kind of like um I don't want to say they're kind of like manipulating the situation they're not what they're doing is guiding you right now the high priestess is here to kind of like really emphasize this thing as well you know this kind of like happened with group number two this is strange uh i feel like group, you know the the life reading is somewhat connected to the love reading so maybe have a look at that as well if you're if you're interested but i feel like what's what spirit is saying but they you do have different messages but what spirit is saying here to just trust your god okay something is hidden from you right now okay but um there could be some sort of like illusions because earlier when i was saying confusion 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 i was also thinking illusion at the back of my mind and that's also being represented by the high priestess here there's something that's being hidden from you and that is why spirit wants you to kind of like use your intuition and see things from a different perspective like when i when i said you know uh, write down the things that you want and everything you know your pros and cons that's one way of seeking a different perspective i feel like that is what's really really needed for you right now in terms of your love life okay perhaps there is something that your partner or maybe not even a partner maybe this is someone that you just met and you're trying to kind of like identify whether there will be something with this person or maybe a, a different person maybe you're choosing between several di different people <laughs> lucky you but i feel like spirit is saying to just go with your gut okay you will never go wrong perhaps you know earlier when i said to focus on what brings you joy perhaps you know one person is kind of like yeah they're good looking whatever but they don't make me laugh so you know writing your pros and cons is kind of like going to allow you to kind of like uh, identify which one is more important to you and again this those ace of wands really speaks about passion for me so this is a new beginning and you know spirit is saying to begin this new start correctly and create a foundation that's based on what brings you joy okay and what sparks your passion strength is here to kind of like help you choose okay you know sometimes people say that you know the strength part is here to just you know help you find strength or whatever but i feel like what is needed here is for you to find cause sometimes we we battle within ourselves right like oh gosh i want this but i want this you know it's hard for me you know spirit is saying you're going to battle with yourself um a lot but you know trying to see things from a different perspective is going to allow this to be easier so you know 
step away from your situation see things for what they are write them down because you know it's easier to kind of like it simplifies things you know whenever you write things down something that may seem so if you're just thinking about it if it's just in the either you know if, if if it's just there in your mind you know it seems so big but when you write it down not just um not just physically you know um it kind of like I don't know, but for me, I feel like whenever I write my problems down or whenever I write things down, it kind of like gives me a better view, overview of things because I feel bigger than them because they're just letters and it allows you to see things from a different perspective, therefore allowing you to kind of like make um, sound decisions moving forward. So in terms of love, I see you, you know, trying to decide It doesn't necessarily have to be like deciding between people, maybe deciding to stay within this person with this person that you're with. Perhaps, you know, there could be some sort of like High Priestess is just telling me to really, you know, use your intuition. There could be some secrets here. So, you know, what you need to do right now, you know, I'm not telling you something that you don't know, okay? If I say there are secrets here, you already know there are secrets, okay? If you don't, then, you know, that part of the reading is not for you. But I'm sensing that, you know, you really, really, really asked. You're really guided to use your intuition, okay? Oops, okay. Yeah. Nine of um, Pentacles. Page of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles. Ooh, Okay. Well, in terms of your finances, I see you kind of like enjoying the luxuries in life. I see you kind of like you have made it. You have reached this part in your life right now wherein you can say, okay, I am content. I'm content with what I have. I have, I have accomplished the things that I want. I'm here right now in this, in this phase in my life where I feel like I'm able to enjoy or reap the benefits of what I have worked for, what I've worked hard for. And you're sitting here, you're enjoying, you know, um, the fruits of your labor, okay? At the same time, you know, you're feeling a lot more enthusiastic about life as well. Because you see that when you work hard for something, you reap it, okay? You get it, okay? That's the energy that's coming through. I see you here. You're protecting yourself, okay? You're, you're really striving to have some sort of like um, a very stable life moving forward. I see you, you know, you work really hard and you're saving, you know, I'm not sensing any greed in this card. I'm seeing um, security. You have found the security, you have found contentment, and you're optimistic about life. So in this, in this card, you know, you're very, very good. I don't have anything else to say about that. You have very good cards in terms of your career or your finances. Okay, if you're not... Um, if you're if you're asking about career, I see you um, enjoying perhaps you know this business or this position that you have at work. You know, um, I feel like you you could have really really worked hard to get that position. Maybe you got the promotion, or maybe you're adjusting to this position. You maybe you're new to this position, and at first you're kind of like, oh gosh, you know this is difficult or whatever. But I see you fully adjusting to it right now, and you're you're feeling content. You know, you're you're kind of like. You know when you when you're new at a position and if you, you still feel kind of like on edge you know oh gosh am i doing it right am i doing this correctly but now i feel like you have eased into this part of um you have transitioned into this position very seamlessly right now which makes you feel very enthusiastic and optimistic about the future i see you kind of like being um open to receive new projects to receive new job to receive new work okay i see you very very confident right now and also stable okay now to get the final advice for each of the columns or the tiles. Spirit, advice please. If you're interested to see the cards that I'm using, please have a look at the description box below. I'm gonna put them there. One advice please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Get back into balance, okay? You're being asked to kind of like, yes, do some introspection, meditate, okay? Four of Wands, I'm sorry, um, Four of Cups energy. Do some major contemplation. Get back into balance. You know, I feel like you could be off balance here. Could be some sort of like the confusion could be overwhelming you in a way. That's why you need to take a step back and go back to whatever it is that brings you joy. Whatever it is that brings you equilibrium or balance, go back to that, okay? Oh, oh there you go. Rose Quartz. Yes. <laughs> Open up your heart very fitting okay that jumped right out of my hands you saw that okay very fitting allow yourself 
to um, connect with your heart and let your heart decide okay open up your heart allow your heart to speak for you to make a decision for you and you do that by connecting with your intuition okay seeing things from a different perspective um, But of course, you have to find balance, okay? Don't just let your heart decide. Let your mind decide as well. It has to be balanced, okay? Lastly, live your purpose. This one came out um, for group number three as well. Oddly, in the same position. So again, you're already living your best life, I feel, in terms of your career, in terms of your business. It's already booming. It's already, you know, getting momentum. It's already getting there, you know? Success is in your um, cards and i see you kind of like living your purpose already okay that is what i have for you group number three if this reading resonated with you i would love to know in the comment section below please consider giving this video a like or subscribe to my channel for future videos like this i do pick a card readings every week um i hope this you know gave you some sort of guidance or help in a way thank you so much for being here truly appreciate your presence and i hope i see you again soon in one of my future videos Bye.